Starting off, like always, we have the very back of the room. Going around my entire door, I have the Govi RGBIC LED strips. These are literally a staple to every single setup I own, so you know I had to go ahead and incorporate them into this one. Then, moving to the left, this is probably one of the most important stations of the room. This is my camera station. I have two Govi flow bars on the shelf to try to give this wall a little bit of color. I keep things like my tripods up here, my lenses, my other tripod, camera stuff. Basically, anything related to filming and camera gear will go on the shelves on my pegboard right now I have my camera bag and I also modified it to be a permanent camera battery charging station now we can start to move on to the back of my room right here nano leaves sent me out a starter pack of nano leaves I think it looks really good on this wall it's like one of the perfect placements and it's really really good for my stream background then moving on to my closet if you did watch the video where I completely redid this room this is actually a normally a closet but I did end up removing both of the doors to make it an open layout design. I also took off the original shelf in here and installed some of my own so I have two mini shelves, a big shelf, I have a box shelf down here, and all of these shelves are from Ikea by the way. Then I have two little dangling plants and I have this really really big plant in this corner to kind of help fill this empty bit of space. And then I also keep some of my other little lighting bits in here. Overall though I do love this layout of the open closet and it looks so much better than it did before. Now for this little back wall right here, this is definitely one of the coolest parts and one of my most favorite parts of my setup. Each side I have two of the really really tall Ikea lack shelves up top. I have my boy Kiloa and I have a twitch pillow then moving down below. I have these Wait, what is this called? I, I don't know what this is called. Anyways, it's like a really cool figurine. It's just an off-brand version because these do normally cost 150 bucks and I'm not paying that price. So I got this little thing off of Amazon. Then I also got this little balloon dog that I think would look really cool matching with it. Down below, we have the homie Gone, a little basic Ikea plant, another Stormtrooper Funko Pop, and then the bottom one I have empty because I do have a dog. And if I put things down this low, he'll think that they're toys. Don't, okay, ignore that, ignore that. Then right here, I did get a white carpet, which my dog already already put his muddy feet on. So that kind of defeated the point of having a white carpet. But it's still super, super soft. Then moving on to the second Ikea shelf. At the very top, we have another Funko Pop, my boy Hisoka. I have another Ikea plant, another one of the figures that I... I don't remember what the name is. I have Tanjiro, and if I pronounce that name, I'm so sorry. I am, I can never pronounce his name, and I don't know why. Then right here, I have another Ikea plant, my A-L-E-X-A. I don't want to say her name so she don't activate. I have these two little things that I've had for about three years. I don't know why. I've just, for whatever reason, kept up with these things for about three years. Then I have another Ikea plant, and then a bunch of random stuff that I, I actually don't know why it's here. Also, for the questions that I know I'm going to get asked, behind both of these Ikea lack shelves are, again, some Govi. RGBIC LED strips. I'll go ahead and make sure I have everything in this room linked down below, so don't worry about that. Moving on right here, I have an IKEA pegboard that I pretty much just have some empty containers and some keyboard switches in. Then up top, I have a really, really big IKEA shelf. Again, I do have two lights that are gonna go underneath here, but I don't have the batteries for them right now. I'm displaying three of my favorite custom keyboards that I've built. Every single one of these I have modded, so they're all super, super nice. Then I have my custom 3D panel that I made. Now I do actually plan on taking off this bottom row that way I can bring it down that way it's not touching the ceiling and the shelf but that pretty much wraps up this little back portion of my room <sighs> and now we can move on to the reason you guys are all here my gaming setup like always we're gonna start off with the left of my setup first off behind the setup I have a really really tall IKEA plant and behind the plant I do have a Govi standing lamp then moving on, on the left right here, I have my main source of face lighting whenever I stream. This is an Elgato key light. It was $200, which I know seems a lot for one light, so don't worry. I bought two. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too proud of myself. Also, hold up, rate the PJs. Oh, looking fresh. Moving on, I'll go ahead and talk about both of my desks. Right now here, I have an Alex door, and I actually do have two Alex doors, one on each end. And separating the Alex doors from my actual tabletop, I have these furniture risers. I do love this look that it gives to the desk, and it also makes it a bit taller because I'm I'm kind of a tall person. Not not really. I'm not I'm not tall, actually. Never mind. Anyways, love how the desk looks, and the desktop itself is an IKEA egg back and counter top again I do have two of them the exact same ones and then underneath I just have a bunch of Ikea legs to help support the middle portions of the desk moving on I do have my headset this is the same headset I've been rocking for a long time it is the steel series Arctis 7s moving on we have my brand new mouse pad for this setup this is the gutsy Aiden Arctic edition and don't worry guys because this one is currently
currently in stock on his site. So if you want to go ahead and pick this bad boy up, make sure to click the link in the description. For my mouse, I have the Logitech G Pro Super Light with some mouse grips that just just keep getting dirtier. I mean, these things are looking kind of they're looking kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie. Then we have my OG custom keyboard. I actually haven't used this thing in quite a long time, but after this whole new setup scheme that I'm going for, I just love the black and white and listen to the sound of this thing. Oh, that's crisp. Yeah, and in total, this keyboard is $300. Now for my back wall, I get questions about these things all the time, and these are 3D panels. And no, they're not foam, they're actually a hard plastic. So they don't actually give any acoustic sound, it's literally just for looks. Now as for my monitors, this one I did just recently pick up. This is a Skepter 27 inch monitor. Up top, I have another Skepter monitor, but this one is 24 inches. These monitors are also both 1080p 75 hertz. Again, you don't need anything crazy for your secondary and third dairy monitor. Then for my main monitor, this is an Asus 165 hertz gaming monitor. It is also an IPS display. So if you can kind of see how the colors look better on this one, that's why. The only monitor that I really do care about being really good is my main monitor because obviously that is the one that I game on. Now, one of the biggest upgrades since my last setup tour, obviously not only the entire setup, but I finally caved in and bought the Shure S M7B. This microphone I have been wanting for such a long time and it was on a really good sale for about 300 bucks. So I went ahead and jumped on it and got it right away. Holding it up, I do of course still have the blue compass. I have said it before and I'll keep saying it. This is the best boom arm you can get. Not only aesthetically, but performance wise, I mean, it's just perfect. Then running my entire audio setup, I still have the GoXLR Mini. I've actually thought about upgrading to a GoXLR full size soon, but I haven't jumped on it because that is $500. But if you think it's worth Worth the upgrade let me know and i'll go ahead and hop on it up top one of the coolest additions to this new gaming setup is i have these two massive shelves that wrap all the way around these are also ikea shelves honestly ikea just makes great shelves for such an amazing price so i probably won't buy any other shelves from any other company and up top of course i do have the govi rgbic led strips now as for the, all these plants that go along my shelves these all are also ikea plants and like i stated earlier my secondary lighting right over here is yet again another Elgato key light. I just love the functionality and I know they're so expensive, but they produce so much light. They put off hardly any heat, which is crazy good because my room can get super, super hot sometimes. And I love the functionality with the stream deck. And if you're wondering where my stream deck is, it's actually in my drawer right now because I need to get an extender to wrap it all the way around. So for now, I'm just not using it. Then right here, I have just a pumpkin candle because it's fall and you guys know I am a big lover of candles. And right here in the corner, I do have my G Fuel collection. A couple of these containers are actually currently empty, but I just don't want to ruin the aesthetic of the tower. Now, moving on to the right side of my setup, these are the Nanoleaf lines. Nanoleaf was kind enough to send these out to me, kind of like the Nanoleaf shapes, but these things are actually insane, and I think they bring such a good look and vibe to my setup. In total, I have 18, which would have cost me over $400. So Nanoleaf, if you're watching this, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Now, my PC. And you might be wondering, why isn't my bottom fans working? That's actually a great question. They run and they work completely fine, but for whatever reason, the RGB just isn't working on them. So I might end up having to pick up some new ones, but I'm not for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and experiment and see what I can do to fix them. But since my last setup tour, I have gotten a brand new PC case. This is the Lee and Lee Evo, and this case is just stunning. Looks absolutely beautiful. And inside with the specs, I have a Ryzen 9 5900X, an RTX 3070. My cooler is the Corsair Capellix H150i Elite. I have 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RAM. Down below here, I have the Corsair QL120s. And going all the way around the rest of my computer, I have the Corsair LL120s. And I finally picked up some streamer cables, and these things look amazing. And for my motherboard, I have the B550A. Overall, this computer is for sure my dream computer. It not only looks amazing, but this thing is so unbelievably powerful. And to finish it all off, down below underneath my desk, I do have my mini fridge. Also, my cable management actually kind of goes crazy. And other than that, that pretty much wraps up the entire room. 